got the double meat steak footlong with pepper jack cheese, chipotle sauce, and everything in it. I'd like to give a shout out to coffee or caffeine because without it, I would not be able to do shit. There's just no way you can juggle a full-time job, extracurricular stuff, you know, YouTube, work out for two hours. Like, shit, I need some goddamn caffeine in my life. Check it out, y'all. Right after work, didn't go to the gym, got my coffee, and I got iMovie uploaded, or I got iMovie up, and I'm gonna work on my video. So this is my new thing. I'm just gonna come straight home, make YouTube a priority, so I can push out more videos for y'all. So uh, let's get it. Just got home from the gym, eating this, what is this, red bean bun with sesame seed? Oh yeah, red bean mochi. And my girl went to this place called Mojitos, got me some empanadas. Got these sauces I'm about to use. They're pretty good. It's a chicken empanada. So I'm using this sauce right here for my hot pot. Add a little soy sauce in it. All right, so it's looking pretty done. I'm just gonna weigh it out on this plate. I got seven ounces right here. I'm gonna throw some more in there. Just put some fish balls in there. And now I got some baby Napa cabbage in there. Best thing ever. Just got more lunch meat. Got some smoked honey turkey breast. And uncured ham. Gonna throw this in the toaster. Nice and toasted. Just gonna throw some lettuce on there. Amazing. All right, y'all, just got home. Just cut up a bunch of steak. I had like three steaks left over that were going bad, so I just cooked them all. And now I'm gonna recook them in the pan, toss them up in some butter and olive oil. First batch was 12 ounces. Now I got a second batch. Gains. Just got steam in this broccoli. Steam it for five minutes. Apparently if you steam it for five minutes, it keeps all its nutritional, you know, uh, characteristics. After five minutes, it kind of loses it. Apparently it gets like overcooked or something. I can't believe it's not butter. The trick is just to take the nozzle off and just like, oh yeah. That was awesome. Now I'm eating these instant noodles for some carbs. All right guys, just wanna go over my calories from yesterday. So yesterday I ate 3,563 calories. Ate that foot long steak pepper jack Subway sandwich, a bunch of pork belly from the hot pot, fried fish balls in the hot pot, chicken empanada that my girlfriend brought, and a red bean bun. These nutritional macros are like out of control. I had 175 grams of carbs, 246 grams of fat, and 210 grams of protein. I had a pretty good chest workout yesterday, so I kind of needed that surplus. But now today, I'm only at 2,009 calories so far. I might eat a little bit more, but I'm not working out today. I had my sandwich at work, 12 ounces of ribeye, a bunch of broccoli, and those cup noodles. Macros looking very standard. This is actually pretty good right here. Pretty Finally about to get my tint done. I'm just sick of people just staring at me and shit. You know, I never really mind minded, but now I just like kind of mind like I just don't want I saw some people looking at me and shit and I was just like, alright. 
today is the day. So this is exactly what I wanted. I don't want to go to no like tent world or you know tent ex you know some place that just does tent only because they have like overhead and shit. This guy's like he he runs an emissions place and he just does tent on the side. So that's what I'm looking for. I think I might get like 35 or 30 percent. I don't want any trouble from the cops. You know what I mean? They'll pull you over and you know. You know, it might, it might lead to other things, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Tim? I, I'm getting the tent done. Uh, you, you, you me or yeah, yeah. How was you? Yeah. Yeah, you were cool right there in the background. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> Fail. Blake. At it again. <laughs> Look, she looks so cute. <laughs> the life of a calendar. Been like that since I was hurting it. You can't tell me anything, bitch. You gotta be for certain. Yeah. That lady was like, What are you filming? <laughs> oh shit, there it is. Damn, Dark ass tin. A little darker. It's pretty nice. This guy's just eating right here. They got the rice cooker out and shit. 110 bucks. I gave him a 10 dollar tip. Totally worth it. Just got my hair cut. Looking extra dark from the back. Super dark. Just cut up some broccoli. I threw them in the steamer. Got 13.4 ounces of ribeye here. Steak and broccoli again. And A1 sauce. Now I'm gonna eat some of these Kodiak cakes. I'll lay out two servings. Two servings. A little burnt. Got some maple cinnamon agave pancake syrup. Wow, this shit is so good. Dinah's mom bought this like a few months ago and I forgot I had this. Y'all gotta try it. It's so sweet though, like it hurts my teeth. But a pancake only tastes as good as its syrup. I think that's right. Eating one serving. So pretty much after I got my tint done, I just chilled at home edited my video and I just got done watching some Netflix watch this movie called the impossible it's about like the Southeast Asia tsunami and like you know the whole disaster and everything it's a pretty really good movie on, on Netflix you should check it out but uh, time to take my supplements and head to the gym creatine BCAAs and L arginine what's up y'all really want to talk to you guys about intermittent fasting again because you know, the last video I posted, I really wanted you guys to try it, but I'm over here thinking like, what is going to get you guys to try it? Well, I, I probably got you guys to try it last video, but what can I do to get you guys to keep doing it? And it is to go over how to, to stop those feelings of hunger. So a lot of things you can use are, you know, drinks, which are black coffee, monster, uh, tea and sparkling water. These are all zero calorie drinks. So That doesn't spike insulin at all and it doesn't act as carbs or anything. So You are still in a fasted state But these caffeinated drinks man it I actually look forward to it a lot nothing like having uh, you know a monster a zero calorie monster or black coffee 
on an empty stomach. It really like just wakes you up right in the morning and you can get shit done. You can start being productive. So that's one of the biggest benefits of intermittent fasting. You're not um, having the effects of insulin when it spikes and you get tired. That's like the biggest battle I have personally when I eat. Like every time I eat, I'll get like severely tired and I'll I would need I would literally need to drink a cup of coffee after my lunch break. But, you know, pushing your lunch to a later time in the day, that means you can be productive for that whole time without having inter interruptions of insulin spiking causing you to be tired and, you know, get your thinking off track because you're thinking about food and everything like that. So, those are good ways to numb the, the feelings of hunger, but there are actually techniques that I want to bring up which are staying busy and perspective. So staying busy, you know, you, you really don't have time to eat. And especially when you're already in that fasted state and you have that extreme concentration, when you're staying busy, you can really get in the zone and time is just going to fly by. And you're not even going to think about food. And then when time comes for food, you're going to be like, oh, okay, it's time to eat, you know? So if you stay busy and don't let any, anything uh, interrupt your train of thought and get shit done, you're more likely to not uh, think about food and start eating. And perspective is understanding that you don't need food to function. So once you understand that perspective and you get it out of your head that, you know, I really don't need food to um, do tasks on a daily basis, you know, which which is one of the learning curves for a lot of people, you know. They think that they need food to operate. So once you get over that, that learning curve that you really don't need food, it's so much easier just to not eat and be in that fasted state all day. So I want to say at a certain point, you really don't even have to rely on coffee, tea, monsters, or anything like that to stay in a fasted state. If you just stay productive, and then you have that perspective that you really don't need food to operate. I personally enjoy just, I, I enjoy caffeine, you know. I, I look forward to it in the morning, and it really gives me like a good productive buzz, if, if you know what I'm saying, in the morning. So. Um, really look forward to that. Definitely try things that I mentioned today. You know, if if it doesn't help, then uh, I guess intermittent fasting just isn't for you. I mean, it's not a make or break it. You know, you're not not going to get ripped if you do everything correctly. You know what I'm saying? It's just a really helpful tool where um, you know it can benefit your life in different ways. So. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that commentary. This is like a little short back workout I did with a little bit of tricep. Didn't get the rest of my tricep workouts in, but I basically did all the tricep workouts I usually do, like two or three other tricep workouts. Really been about having really short workouts and just knocking everything out. Wow, absolutely killed that workout, guys. Hit the back really hard, did some tricep, and now I'm heading to Chick-fil-A because I need something quick to eat. That's Chick-fil-A over there. And it's closed. So, change of plans. I'm going to go to Wendy's. I'm going to get some fried chicken sandwiches. Call it a night. Two chicken sandwiches. Instead of eating this shin noodle, I'm gonna try this Neo Guri I got. Same brand, but you know, spicy seafood flavor. You're a real person. Oh, that's the sweetest thing everybody said to me all day. <laughs> Alright, guys, so the macros for tonight are 261 grams of carbs, 98 grams of fat, and 249 grams of protein. I got two scoops right here. I'm like way too lazy to cook or eat anything so I'm just going to drink protein for extra calories even though I'm way over my um, target for protein. So what I had today was broccoli, ribeye, pancakes, 
uh, Oreo Thins spicy chicken sandwiches from Wendy's, a cup of ramen, and two scoops of whey, totaling for 2,962 calories. Feeling pretty good about that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Really appreciate the support from liking my videos. Peace out, y'all.